IUM says the initiative highlights its commitment to providing financial assistance to its students with hopes to more projects like this in the future. Speaking at the official project launch at IUM's main campus in Vantuk recently, IUM Student Representative Council SRC President Lloyd Ngulondo stated that the initiative aims to establish a transparent scholarship committee to review applications and ensure the fair distribution of funds. She added that the council aims to collaborate with educational institutions, community organizations, and high schools to identify deserving students with financial constraints who wish to study at IUM. This campaign is to, is to source financial assistance for students facing economic challenges, helping them cover tuition fees, textbooks, accommodation, and other essential expenses related to higher education. Our aim is to create a level playing field, enabling talented and motivated individuals to pursue their academic goals, regardless of their financial background. The SRG, together with the Office of the Dean, will establish a fair and transparent application process, including the submission of financial documents, academic records, and personal statements. The SRG aims to collaborate with educational institutions, community of organization, and schools to identify deserving students with financial constraints aiming to come to study at IUM. Through Vice Chancellor for Academic Affairs, Research and Innovation, Professor Charles Makanyeza, who officially launched the GoFundMe project, highlighted its significance for IUM students and its support for the government's educational efforts in Namibia. He urged students to avoid delinquency and criminal behavior. Um, so this moment marks a significant milestone for our students as we gather to celebrate the launch of a project that symbolizes the spirit of collaboration. All persons shall have the right to education, but uh, this education is not, is not free. You, you don't just move around town and then you get free education. Therefore, the GoFundMe initiative uh, enhances the government's efforts to avail education to the people of Namibia. So, yes, the leadership of this project, I implore you to remain professional, steadfast, objective, transparent, and accountable. And uh, please stay away from nepotism. I believe you understand this. Favoritism, uh, shortcuts, and all sorts of nonsense that can bring the name of this project and that of IUM into disrepute. The GoFundMe project includes a competition for the public to win an iPhone 15 Pro Max and many more prizes. The event concluded with pledges of 30,000 Namibian dollars from the SRC office, significant contributions from management and marketing staff, the Dean of Students, the Student Christian Movement, the Vice Chancellor and the Pro Vice Chancellor. The David Namwandi Trust also donated 32,000 Namibian dollars.